Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a pumpkin like this one right here. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video on how to draw a pumpkin. I've been noticing that one of my videos, this one right here, how to draw a donut has been blowing up. And I'm guessing more of you wanna see how to draw videos. I, I haven't been posting a lot of those, so I'm gonna start doing more of those. And this one's how to draw a pumpkin, which you can use for Halloween or Thanksgiving or fall design. So I think that would be really helpful. Um, but before we start, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Juna. I'm a graphic designer, t-shirt designer. I design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel to get more of these videos to help you in your journey of designing and selling t-shirts online. Um, before I begin, I wanted to make sure to do this. A lot of you saw my video a couple videos ago about a giveaway for Redbubble and I wanted to announce the winner. So here we go. The Redbubble shop giveaway winner is Aloha T. So you can contact me in the about section of my channel and this is how I came up with it. It's just a random generator. I had 176 comments at the time and number 34 at the time was Aloha T. This has been so great. I think I'm gonna do it again next week. So be on the lookout for another video that I do a giveaway, a Red Bubble Shop giveaway. I'll try and do more of these. Uh, just wanna help all of you guys out. So let's get into the video, how to draw a pumpkin. I'm gonna go into Affinity Designer and start there. So here we are in Affinity Designer. If you don't have Affinity Designer, you can follow along with your just a marker, a pen, or pencil. Um, or if you have Illustrator, I think we're going to be pretty similar to Illustrator as well. So um, first we're going to do um, an oval here. So you can see this is the pumpkin that we're going to draw. I'm going to just keep it right here so you can see the finished product as we go and what I'm doing. So first, I'm picking this right here. This is the ellipse tool. We're just going to draw an oval just like that. So very simple, we're gonna start there. Uh, if you have a marker, just draw an oval. Um, but you can see I'm using um, orange and this is my CMYK color palette. I'm doing like a 265, 96, zero. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes I don't like to put cyan in there. I just like the straight magenta and yellow. Um, and what's really easy about this is in Affinity Designer, all we're gonna do is copy. So holding down Option and Shift and then dragging, you can see I'm copying it. I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna do the other one right here. And I wanna put those in the back. So this one that we drew first should be in the front. And so we're just doing that like that. And you wanna make sure that these are kinda of even. So just eyeball them. Um, you could use the this tool here but I think eyeballing them will be easy enough. All right, so you can see where we're going here. We're gonna do the same thing. Oops. We're gonna do the same thing again with these two. So option, shift, drag. Make sure this is in the back. And then we're gonna option, shift, drag this one in the back. So you can see it's taking shape now. And the only other thing is we need these two back here and those are the exact same shape. So really easy. I'm just gonna option shift drag these back here. Make sure they're in the back. I'm using this move to back option. So you can see right there. And I'm option dragging that one here. So you basically got this thing. They're just the same shape, the same ellipse shape. The next thing I'm gonna draw is this here. I'm just gonna freehand that with the pen tool. So I'm gonna start here kind of go straight down like that. I'm gonna come in under here and then up like that. And that can be the same color too, but that's gonna, whoops, wrong button. But that's gonna um, be in back of this. So this will still need to be in front. So you can see that's how we're gonna do the layers right here. And then these two things are pretty easy. The vine, I'm just freehanding it too with the pen tool. You go there, click, you know, just like that. And you can always fix it after if it's not. 
but it's meant to be a vine that is kind of that shape anyway. So as long as it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to move that in the back as well. And then the leaf here also with the pen tool. So you're going to be really good at the pen tool here. Um, it does that curve. So you just click it, drag it, click it, drag it, and click it. And then, of course, you can fix those things if you don't like it. If you want it to be more pointy, just do that. If you want this to, you know, stick out more, you can do this kind of thing. And just grab the, the curves and pull those to make it like that. All right, so now you can see we, we got the shape here. This one doesn't need a stroke on it. It just needs a fill. So I'm going to do that for now. And we're good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out these lines. So you can see here, there's nothing behind it. If I put, if I put a color behind it, you can see I knocked out the line. So I'm going to show you how I did that. The way I'm going to do that is expanding these outlines to strokes. So I'm going to click all of these here. These, these four are the ones that I need, the stem and the front three. So I'm going to expand these to strokes by going to my layers and expand stroke. And there you go. So now these are actually shapes that I can knock out of the background. So these don't need actual outlines. If you're drawing with your marker, you might want to leave those, but I'm going to take those out. Just the outline part of it. So you can see here, I'm just removing the outline. And then I'm just going to concentrate on removing these from it. So the first thing I want to do, let's get in into it here. So now that we got this shape already, we're going to start knocking out these outlines. So you can see here, there are their own shapes. And what I want to do is I want to combine all of those together and also combine the orange parts. So the black parts are going to be knocked out or we're going to take the black parts and knock them out of the orange. So, so this is going to take a little bit of work, but if you follow along, you'll see what I'm trying to do. So first we need this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape but we only want the parts that we see. So we have to knock those out. So this orange shape right here, I'm gonna copy it three times. And I'll show you why. So we wanna knock this orange out of here. So you see what I do? So that's just that shape. And then we wanna do this one and knock it out of this black shape here. And then again, let's bring this forward and knock it out of this one. And so you can see now these shapes are all the shapes that I need. And I'm going to combine those by using this add here. Boom. Okay, so what's left is the orange part. So I'm going to take, I'm going to lock this one for now. And so you can do that by clicking this lock right here. We'll come back to it. We can even name it if we want. And we can call it um, black outline. So we, when we come back, we can see what it looks like. All right, so we don't get confused. And then all these orange ones, I can just, you know, do that. We don't want this vine here. And all of those can be combined now. Whoops, I took the leaf. And we did that for an ad. So you can see that's part. And now we have, let's Go back to our layers palette and look for the black outline. There it is. I'm going to unlock it and take the orange part here. I'm going to copy this twice and I'll show you why. Copy V. So I have two of these. The first one I'm going to use to knock this out. But before I knock it out, I want to convert this to outlines as well, which I forgot. I'm going to go to layer, expand stroke. So now that it's a bigger shape, sometimes that happens. Oh, I'm just going to move it like that. All right. So we're going to do this. Click here. That's in front. Knock it out. Whoops. Sometimes that happens too. We, let's just get rid of this. I didn't want that. I forgot we were doing an outline. There we go. So you're going to see that what's, what I'm going to do here and then I'm going to take that and knock it out of this one. Boom. You see that? All right. 
So I'm just going to color this fine here, a green color. And you can make green with cyan and yellow. And this leaf as well, cyan and yellow. Use whatever color you want. And I just did the face here. This face I've made multiple times. I'm just kind of copy and paste it. But you can see it's just, it's basically circles, two circles, ellipses. And this was done with the pen tool if you want to just, you know. Oops, let's do it again. And give it a stroke, right, and a color. So that's basically how I drew the, drew the face. And that is it. That's how you draw the pumpkin. So a lot of different steps. Hopefully using a lot of the skills in Affinity Designer, we use the knockout tool. I, I showed you how to lock down a, a layer so that you can save it for later and name a layer. And then using the pen tool for these things here. So really simple in Affinity Designer, we just use basic shapes to do this and the pen tool. So for those of you that wanna use it on a t-shirt, um, of course, make your own face, um, but you can use this. I'll, I'll show you kind of an idea. So you can do this, uh, cutest pumpkin in the patch t-shirt. This is just a font here. I'm using Santa Elia script, and this is one of my favorites called Valken. You can use whatever font you want, but try and use it together. Remember, t-shirt designs are more tall than wide. You can see it like that. So. Good luck with this. Hope this video was helpful for you and that you can now draw a pumpkin and use it in different designs. Um, find out what's trending and or do your own thing and put your own spin on this pumpkin design. Thanks so much for, for watching and all the way till the end. I forgot to mention there's another edition of the trend credits, so I'll put that now. Thanks for staying till the trend credits. Here's your trend for today. It is, I need to speak to the manager, Karen shirt. Um, most of them say Karen here. Some of them just say, I need to speak to the manager. This is meant to be as a costume. I guess Karen is the person that needs to speak to the manager a lot. I don't get this reference. It's pretty funny though. I guess they, they tease Karen a lot. That's so Karen. Um, so you can see here, Merch Informer, the competition checker, it's getting an A. I have a link in the description of how to get Merch Informer if you don't have it. Discounts in there as well. So you can see a lot of these. Um, there's other ways to do the Karen needs a manager thing too. So it's not always, can I speak to the manager? You can do Karen costumes and so on. Just think of different ways to do this. Like this is already done. You can see people are just doing the hello sticker and, or not with the hello sticker. Try and do something different um, because you know, if you just do the same thing, these guys are the ones that's gonna get the sales, not you, because you'll be on page two, it looks exactly the same, you're not gonna get a sale. So think of ways that you can use this idea to make your own funny t-shirt idea with Karen and the manager or having to speak to the manager. So that is it for this trend credit. Hope this was really helpful for you. And if this video as a whole was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And until next time, guys, keep creating and keep learning. See you on the next one.